Hey guys, Martin Bennett here from The Loan Room. I want to talk to you today about a very important topic, afterpay, and how it can affect your chances of getting a mortgage. These days, everyone wants things now. They want it yesterday, not even now. In fact, I was walking through Doncaster Shopping Town just uh, not too long ago, and I saw a hairdressing salon offering afterpay. My th first thought was, who on earth needs to use afterpay to get the haircut? So, how does this affect you when you're applying for a mortgage? You see, when a bank goes through your bank statement and they see things like afterpay, it actually affects you from a bank's perspective because they think, well, this is a debt for starters. Even though uh, afterpay not classify this as a credit card or a debt, it's considered a debt. You actually owe that store some money. It also shows the bank that, hey, you don't have the capacity or the ability to actually save up and actually buy that item with actual money. So I would strongly advise you if you're looking to get into the investment market, if you're looking to buy a house, to get rid of any afterpay that you have, to go through and really work through what you truly expend. And if you want to buy that item, wait until you actually have the money saved up and then pay for it with cash. Or if you use a credit card, use a credit card and then pay it off straight away. But using afterpay just shows the bank that you as a, a client or potential client for that lender don't have the means to be able to buy simple things or get your hair cut if that's what you're using after pay for. So if you'd like to know more information around hey what you should maybe look for, how your expenses should look when you're actually going to apply for a loan, please reach out to myself or my team at the loan room. We'll be more than happy to walk through that process and just guide you through what's actually really required to get into that mortgage and get into that home.